Next time, it is every reporter and anchor's worst nightmare that oh, you're no. going to say a curse or something inappropriate on the air when you don't think you're on, your mic is hot, everybody's done it to some extent. I never dropped the F-bomb to my knowledge, but I think I've said the B-word. To your knowledge? To don't my ever, knowledge. Don't Who say that after saying I've never dropped the F-bomb. We better knock on wood. But anyway, the latest uh, news reporter to drop an F-bomb, and let me just set it up real quick. She complains about her IFB, and that's this little earpiece, so she can't hear what's going on. She doesn't know that she's on the air. Mm -hmm. This is at WDIV. Her name is Lauren Podell. You're not going to see her face, but you're going to see the anchors, and you're going to hear the F-bomb. Listen up. Lauren, good morning. Don't have IFB. I don't know when we're going. Neither does Jim. I can't get this f***ing in there. Ooh, that's going to leave a mark. Well, the, the smooth anchors there were lucky enough to apologize right away. Show a picture of wonderful Lauren Podell. Sorry, Lauren. You might not have been on camera. But there's the lovely lady who said it, and it happens, so, you know, uh, apparently the viewers actually went to the Facebook page and sort of said, we understand and we get it, and they, they didn't raise too big a fuss. Okay, well, good good news for her. Oh, yes. my gosh. You know what? I actually I can well, empathize with her. I can just go, fudge. Yes. You oh. can't go wrong with fudge. I empathize with her. It's never happened to me either, but I, it's, the, it's the one thing where oh. I can feel all the blood going oh, yes, to my can. feet if it were to it. ever happen to me. Mm -hmm. Woo. Okay, now we want to share with you an adorable five-year-old who is now leading a marching band. This little guy's name is Terenza McKelvin. He's five years old, and apparently he just decided that he wanted to start practicing with the band. So he went to the band um, summer camp, summer band camp. This is the Glade Central High School, and he just thought that he was kind of going to do this for fun. Little did he know he was being recruited to be one of the band's majors. <laughs> The newest band major, there he is, and he debuted his talents at the Muck Ball, which happens to be one of their biggest games of the year. This is him during the halftime performance. Take a listen. director said the crowd went crazy. They absolutely loved absolutely. it. Dad said everybody was proud. We were watching him from the crowd. Apparently the dad marched in this band when he was in high school and now he sees his little guy doing it even Too though he's nowhere cool. near high school. And the little guy is so well spoken. He said, I love performing in front of a lot of people. It's really exciting. He's five. He's five. What's he going to be doing when he's 25? Oh. A guy in Hong Kong goes viral on a video because he happens to look like the dear leader from North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Oh. And he's dressed up and he goes wow. out in public. He's made commercials. He's getting a lot of play for this. Check him out. He says the key is just look angry all the time. Oh. I think he needs to gain a little weight, though, but pretty good. Oh, wow. That's uncanny.